Shelly, Bog, and Baritone. All right, and time to, of course, forget about literally everything that we had seen from the previous game. In the fourth seat now. Pavier, Animal Reeve, Wood Expert are the top ox here, generally. Lone Pit, Stone Axe, both very good. Water Gully has some really good situations. Pavier, Stone Axe feels a bit non bowy. Um, but we could try to wheel this Clay Firer. I like how that sounds. Animal Reeve is a bit anti-Stone Axe. Stone Axe is better on Big House. Animal Reeve is harder to hit on Big House. Beating Rod and Water Gully in the game do improve the odds of getting that. Trying to wield this Clay Firer I really like as an idea. Um, if I was completely memeing, we'd be taking these two. But that's like the memeiest option ever. Baking course we want to remember in case a big grain source comes around. I guess Lone Pit being played by anyone or used by anyone increases the clay in the game. I'm going to go for this and try to wield Clay Firer. I think that's a good idea. Paul, thanks so much for the prime of the 20 months and the good luck. Really appreciate it, Paul. Hope you're doing well. Seducer, not looking exciting without good crop support. Um, though Animal Reeve can be uh, a small house reason on its own. Um, Pavier, not the most amazing, uh, card from fourth seat in terms of things you want to play early but might get rough because you're in fourth seat. Okay, more bake help, more grain field turning into food stuff. We do not have a carrot museum this time. Ranch Provost um, is pretty weird interaction with Animal Reeve. Animal Tamer can make that, smooth that out. Dung Collector, really good for Animal Reeve. I don't need to Stone Axe this game. I don't know how I don't take Dung Collector here. Uh, we also have Lynch It as maybe the minor pick. Steam Machine is a bit tempting, but uh, I don't really have a grain source right now, so I can't justify it. The reason it would be tempting is to not eat the animals, get food from occasional bakes and pavier. Uh, and this helps you take one animal at a time more reasonably, but these are all somewhat silly. Uh, shifting Cultivation can still be good here, but I think I'm just going to take the Lynch It as, like, half a raised bed without the cost. I really liked Lynch it last game we had on stream. We find a fodder chamber. <sighs> this minor pack is pretty loaded. Like, normally I'd be fine with Food Basket. <laughs> I 
Okay. Uh, Chief Forester doesn't really make sense in this hand because of I want to be done taking wood when I'm getting my fields. And if Chief Forester is not the pick, then I don't really care about anything here. You're not going to catch me taking a Sheep Whisperer third. Though there is the Mineral Feeder. Oh god. Are you going to catch me taking Sheep Whisperer third? Or am I going to take Illusionist? Small Trader kind of makes sense as a way to drip food along with Pavior, but I don't really feel like I'm taking Major Minor much here. Am I taking Riparian Builder? No. Oh god. That was so sad. Uh, we get the upscale Freemason? Manger for the Ranch Provost player. Here I am trying to Freemason without Scholar. Um, have I learned my lesson? The Ox here are bad. This should be a good night school game. Well, some of the Ox are bad. This pack was good, but... Forgot Water Gully. This would have been a fun Freemason attempt. And I'm sure it would have failed at some point. <laughs> I'm sure of it. I can't. I can't do this. Clayfiber didn't come back, though. Big sad. Maybe I can do it. No, I don't have any grain, dude. Night school stock's been rising for you. Freemason illuminate, yes. Whispering into the mi megaphone, yes. Yeah, don't try Nutrition Expert if you don't have a ton of veggies. I also forgot the pastor was here. Yeah, without the second Reno Helper, Freemason would have been stuck on clay for a while. What a weird draft. Woodcraft is maybe okay. Pretty sad Clayfire didn't come back. That is actually really rough for me. I mean, Clay Rooms with Reno Prepper would be great if I can swing it. 
And I think I'm in enough on fighting for Animal Reef that I don't need to take Provost. Rocky Terrain is big here. Illusionist could be big. I don't think this is a small trader hand. Stonehouse Recon generally good for me, but... I kind of do want to buy stone aggressively in this hand. Okay, this is a weird mix of things. Mineral Feeder didn't come back. Okay, I, I, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what I'm doing. At least I don't have to choose my round one action. First pick, Charky. Could have been the best Auk out of that pack. That was the Night School pack. Swagman. We're playing a Swagman. I want to say Grain Bag was the previous draft, but it might not have been. Two Clay for Bog is extremely reasonable with Charky and Round 1 Sheep. Big fan of Shelly starting here. I think I get Reedstone because I think two reader Ock is more likely for Shelly. First move next round. Um, it doesn't have to be, of course. Wanted to see a good mineral feeder. I do have um, a game that I streamed is now on YouTube. The title is something like Mineral Feeder Sheep Whisperer. Family Friendly Home. Now that's a fine pairing with Swagman. Kind of want to take a grain here. Um... Maybe day labor is better. Yes, I am playing Pavior uh, pretty soon. But I also think Rocky Terrain might be my first minor. And I'm not quite sure how many fields I'm going with. Unfortunately, Shelly goes for Reedstone. Still play Pavier. And take the uh, good second action no matter what it is. Oh wait, I'm not getting it. Uh, if I don't get the good second action, I start Rocky Terrain. Into something like uh, Reedstone 3 Wood. Or four wood plow. Four wood plow sounds pretty fun. We have an aggressive basket weaver here. So Shelly taking not that many room parts, trying to run Swagman family friendly home is not super productive. If you're gonna try to rush out this kind of combo, um, you don't need to play both cards in round one and you do want to be building many times as much as possible 
and you're gonna lose the race to room parts if you don't prioritize them. Um, okay, so I do get expensive Ock here. <laughs> Let's believe. If I don't get Reedstone next round, which is uh, honestly quite probable, um, I'm looking at start player plow lines. Bog taking, start player. Not completely sure why, given no one else is threatening fireplace immediately. Though Woodcraft might give an extra food. I think Zazak's statement there is pretty self-contradictory. If you think the line as a whole is probably bad, then the way they're doing it is not fine. Bog gets to take wood before fireplace here. There is an animal tamer in this draft, so the sheep are vaguely at risk. This is a bit of a weird way to get um, stone for pavier, but gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. In terms of stage one food, everyone looks okay. Bog kind of has to build cookery here. I don't know why the weight. Baritone can guarantee first room by taking single read, but I don't imagine that's actually their move. Um, and if that's the case, then, well, I guess we can't really block Shelly from getting a room next round if they... If Shelly's willing to take, like, two wood, and then two wood again into grain build. The pastor says I can be slow about building a first room. And I still have these upscale ideas. Shelly start players like crazy. Every game's different.
All right, so definitely going a little food negative here. Um, I can open four wood. I can open two reed. It's safer to open four food, but with room parts being contested, I don't think I need to. We know Shelly has Basket Weaver, so two read is a bit of a priority. Um, and if I don't get four food, four food, or read stone... Okay. I'll take four wood and a beggar. The day labor in round one was kind of necessary to have this insurance line for Pavier. I don't really like it. But it did include a round three start player, which is... sometimes a profitable time to take start player. It's far from a rule, but it can be really nice. Shelly going grain build now. Which is defensible. Um, yeah, we'll see if that ends up being better or not. This was a draft with Lutonist and Stage Hand, so let's take traveling before either of those possibly come out. You know, not very likely, but could happen. Bog is gonna have to take the sheep before their second action next round, so taking it now is wise. Baritone is threatening a hearth and a room. Bog wants the sheep and a room, so this is the way that Bog gets both done. Possibly. Hey, Schmog. Uh, maybe. Depends on, uh, how studious we can be in the night. Shelly didn't need to grain build here, because getting more people out of the build queue does have an effect. Uh, making it easier to run family-friendly home. Though, it is round four, and if it's early grow, you don't really need to run family-friendly home at all, and this prevents anyone else from growing in round five. Also, you have Swagman, so you don't really care how jammed uh, build rooms is anyway. Um, if Shelly had waited for someone else to build and then go Swagman, it would have been better for my pastor, but whatever. Looking good for night school? We will see. Better than begging student? Surely. I think it's too early to say. A bunch of stuff could happen. I don't see any need to guess... I am kind of glad I found a good use for rocky terrain. Alright, uh, let's see if baritone is ovening or hearthing. It is going to be the hearth, which is probably the better move for them. Shelly can start wood, clay, food, ock here. All of them make some sense. Even plow makes some sense. It's going to be clay. Alright, that's pretty much the optimal result for me in round four. Uh...
The problem with early Sheep Whisperer is that I think I waste some of it. So I think I'm gonna wait on Sheep Whisperer. Pastor feels pretty safe, but so does Reno Prepper. We do get six wood out of this, which is the upside to the round three start player. I wouldn't say this happens a majority of the time at all, but it does happen sometimes. It is early grow. Bummer. Kind of. I mean, family-friendly home's not going to run with, away with it this way, but I don't think they were going to anyway. Pastor and upscale allow me to build a clay room without needing more clay or read actions. Bog building a couple stables is reasonable. Uh, five, two. Yeah, I need five more clay if I want to try to double build in clay. Six clay gets me a double build and stone axe. Four clay just gets me a fireplace on top of... Hmm. And I could just build a wood room. Early grow does mean wood room and stone axe makes more sense. Relatively. Though, animal reeve showing up somewhere, we have two people with some an extra animal capacity already. Makes me think that animal reeve is likelier to be played. Long way to go. I would like the well for Water Gully, um, so getting stone faster via Reno Prepper makes some sense that way. I'm not super excited about it, if that's not very obvious from my tone. You had a no proc night student? Yeah, I mean, that's what I was kind of saying. Like, it, there's no real point in guessing once I play it. Like, if I play it, I think it's going to be decent or better. I mean, yes, begging student is definitely more consistent. No minor from Shelley.
Baritone decided to not play an Ock and take Fishing instead. I think Reedstone is okay, Four Clay is okay, Plow is okay. I think trying to squeeze out some pastor value is still fine. And if that doesn't happen, I can just build the third room in round six to guarantee grow in round seven. You know, Dictator, I don't know. There's a lot of vain people who stream and want to brag about viewer count or something. Better than money, yeah, that's a good point too. Animal Reef coming out here for Bog. Oh, is that what it is? Maybe. Seems kind of silly either way to me. Um, I would guess, but far from certainty, that Baritone starts and Shelly ovens, but that's basically just a guess. Matters more in categories where there's more than one streamer, yes. We have a Wild Greens, which is free. Uh, I mean, yes, Animal Reeve does cause animal fights, but... It's, I mean, that's Agricola. You end up fighting for things. And sometimes you have to be ready for things... I mean, I was lucky to see Animal Reeve. It would be a lot more annoying in Baritone or Shelly's position where they did not see the card. Shelly opting to take the four clay, and now is enough clay for a renovation and a room. But they did go to major first, suggesting they do not have enough clay for a major and a room. Um, I would say early growth is bad for night school. Uh, more actions, more time to play the ox in hand. Another reason it was too early to call how good night school would be. There's also Drudgery Reeve that can be five points. Are those materially different types of five points? Absolutely. Did the designers think of it that way? Absolutely not. Four woods seems like a good action here. It also seems a little distracted. Um, with Pastor and stone axe and upscale what forward really does is it slows down rooms from bog well not really bog baritone who i don't think i'm actually that worried about for next room shelly maybe i'm not supposed to care about the forward with this action in that case, Reedstone's fine. Um, ideally, uh, well, I don't know if it's ideal or not. Well, ideally, I definitely am able to play Pastor uh, off of Night School here. Earth Oven's a really nice Charky card. Cheap fireplace back on the menu. 
This is Baritone's chance to take breeding sheep. Um... Okay. Gary, you've advocated for banning it because it's game warping. That's entirely your right to do. And I know you're not alone. We have a farm building. Okay. I don't want to take major because Shelly's going to. And that means it's more likely I get to night school. What's Bog doing here? Can I encourage Bog to not awk somehow? make them wood police. It's the best I can come up with. If Shelly ends up with six wood, I don't know if I care. There was the baking course. I don't think Shelly can have steam machine. Baking course is definitely possible. But taking cops here instead of forest, yes. Yes. This is... This is good. This is what I wanted. I feel mildly clever for doing this. Oh, it's Reno Major. Okay. Sure. Fireplace? Snag three sheep to open next round now? Because you got wood policed? Ah, uh, still clay oven? Bummer. Fireplace is more competitive here, but... Okay, good pastor. Um, another good part of this is that, well, let's see what Shelly does resource-wise. Um, Reedstone. I'm totally fine with that. I am so okay with that. I was thinking of taking Reedstone just for its downstream effects of Bog and Baritone not building. My goal now is to build next round. Um, so I can build the well here. <laughs> Poopy man. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, um, I think I'm just building the well. Kind of as a waiting move. I think my other move is just plow. But if somehow someone comes up with, um, Reed, there was a beating rod in this draft. Bog takes the sheep. Baritone does not have to grow with this action. So I'm trading action priority for more information. 
by building the well first. Major was not really in jeopardy. Um, but I wanted to know what Baritone's non-grow move was. And if Bog has extra reed showing up. Why instead of Reno Major? Because if I Reno on two rooms, then I have no room parts. Um, everyone else is going to have their first grow by the end of this round, and uh, early grow generally means you should go for more rooms than not. I am very glad I did not Sheep Whisper. Um, I guess one thing I didn't think about... I didn't think about this line until right freaking now, but I still have time. One room, four stables, upscale lifestyle, clay room, stone axe. My resources line up great for that. Uh, except not four stables, three stables. Two stables. F stables. <laughs> Deal with stables later. On the other hand, ignore up stale lifestyle, extra reno prep, get clay. Um, saves a whole upscale half action. Instead of trading three wood for five clay, I'm trading five wood for two clay. Uh, I don't want to do the math on the net there because the renoing and the rooming has net value differences. Stable price going down. <laughs> Short the stables. Alright, basket weaver happening. Not surprising. Oh. Yeah, if Nightbop, if Nightbop blocks your message, you shouldn't try to resend it. <laughs> General word of advice. Um... I can still get wrecked by Bog going one read, start beating rod. That would be pretty bad. Uh, I can burn a start player. if I need to. Two Ox getting played in the same round. Big fan of that. Ranch Provost for Bog. Baking course, procking Charky. Interesting that Charky didn't take it, uh, but that would have been a second pick. Yep, exactly, Zazak. Thankfully not... My opponents are somewhat behind on their next room parts in general here. This animal tamer has not been very useful for baritone.
Sharky has been fine, yeah. If I get Night School in Stage 3, it'll be Sheep Whisperer. Yeah, Baritone, uh, doing a triple take on maybe using Baking Course ever in exchange for giving Bog a wood and a food now. Uh, doesn't make a ton of sense. Yo, Ikanchan, what's up? Uh, thoughts on Northern Lion's Wingspan game? Northern Lion is playing Wingspan? Do you have the hookup? He played a wingspan game. Presumably on the app. They played five player for two hours and then called it. That is pretty funny. Shelly takes three wood, uh, so Bog and Bog responds with start loam pit. Baking course has a bake icon. It's not a bug. Come on, people. Yeah, thanks, Sean. Um, yeah, five player is going to take forever, especially with new players. Yeah, I mean, slow wingspan is, uh, not great. Slow anything is not great. Bog taking four wood here, um, seems to just go into provost fencing, provost animal reef friendly fencing. We have early pigs. Early grow early animals is going to lead to higher scores in general. We also have some wood, uh, solid amounts of wood in this game. But if people mismanage their food, no guarantees. Two read available here. People just letting two read fly here is kind of wild. So, Stone Axe is my miner, and I'm going to want stone uh, pretty intensely. For Water Gully, Fodder Chamber, Activating Stone Axe. Can I justify a Reed Stone here? Build a fifth room this game out of clay? No. The only acceptable non-start player move here is to Reed. And we all know how little I want to take start player ever. I'm in. No roof examiners, please. The three grain for fodder chamber is steep. Yes. It is, in my opinion, a bad design to have something with insane cost and insane payoff as a miner. No promises I hit at this game, but that's fine. It's an option. Everything in hand is an option. Contrary to popular belief, nobody starts the game with Lantern House already played.
Shelly taking reed stone. Uh, I like that because they're probably going to eat the reed. Alright, Stone Axe in play. Three stone is possibly on the board next round, but I'm not expecting to get it. It would be kind of insane if I did get it. Rip Night School. Unrip Night School. Oh, for a second I was like, just day labor? <laughs> I forgot about the loam pit. <laughs> okay, I am a little short of food. Uh, so I would really like a bottom feeding action. My food is getting difficult now that I'll be at four people. Baritone starting here would make a lot of sense to take the pigs as six food and hopefully actually breeding them rather than immediately eating them. Uh, this baking course might be baking the grain. I don't really know what Baritone has in mind here. Possibly just sowing grain veg. Possibly seventh pick seducer, which is being stretched too hard for. There was a food basket in this draft, but makes it even more mysterious why I've been able to get Reed. Um, I guess the second grain is fine if you're not baking coursing it. Balance between food versus make points? That's the that's the real key to the game Shelly's gonna start here with a nice stockyard um, presumably for the pigs ooh night school is unripped We whisper in. Maybe I should be playing Illusionist, but I don't know. My cards might still all do stuff. Alright, now I need three food. Um, oh, I want to take this three stone so bad, but if I play Water Gully now, I don't have space for the cow, so I think five food is the move, just to not die, because Baritone might be on the bottom feeding, and maybe someone has a lover. Doesn't really look like it, but, or a grocer, like, this kind of stuff could happen if I don't take the five food here. Um, but yeah, three stone would be amazing. Thankfully, it's not my only source of possible stone. Bog is on two pigs. 
baritone, presumably on two sheep. Aiming for four food and so. Oh, that's true. Shelly didn't take the pigs. Whatever you do, Shelly, please don't build a room. Okay. If Shelly wants to eat their raw grain, then... I don't know what that action was. That's such a strange action. This is this is nine wood. And a food. Baritone has raised bed. That's what that is. Yeah, oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Um, the other thing I get by doing this is faster fences, maybe. Feels slightly faster. And it is better timing for Water Gully anyway to wait till next round. Not that I couldn't have grown with upscale. Yeah, Trollo, just drop it, I would suggest. Talk about something else. Alright, Bog is taking some control of the animal situation. Um... You know, it feels slightly gifted to them. And by slightly... I mean more than slightly. But Ox goes very good for them. Bog's game, um... Does have some good off-board points, but not a huge amount. Um, looking at what I might sacrifice in my hand... Not a ton. Is Illusionist still worth playing? I will have time for Dung Collector before I need it. I will not need it until round 13. Also, passing here will just... And, like, the fact that it was Sheep Whisperer pass, like, my opponents should probably think I'm out of playable stuff. 
or have a really late game card. I don't think there's any point in playing Dunk Collector here. I mean, it's not especially blockable unless I get fence blocked. Yeah, it was a tough sequence where I had to, you know. I mean, if Shelly made the read that I'd prioritize three stone, good for them. Just, that's not a read you can typically make, I would say. It is late cow, so there is some potential cow defense available. Um, I didn't calculate the wood situation for me, but it is actually totally fine. Any of the wood actions work for me, getting to 15 fences. And now I know I'll be getting one. Um, ideally I get to wood fence grow. Bog taking two reed takes away room parts from baritone, which I'm happy about. So the big risk is baritone fencing 11 second move. Uh, we're going to fence the normal 15, 6 spaces. I'm not going to chase Provost. Because I am actually pretty close to Animal Reeve. It just doesn't look like it. Right now. I guess what I could do is do 1113 instead of 1122. Two. Bog plowing is wild. Baritone does not fence 11 second action. This is a nice little break here for Team Lumen. I just have too many spaces that are easily fillable on the rest of my farm to do a different fencing arrangement. Uh, yeah, without knowing if I'll have stables or not, I'm just going to do this normally. But this water gully is just insanely huge. Um, and if... Okay, well, this is not happening anymore. Um, Bog can now take two pigs first action. And, okay, well, it looks like Bog is taking cow aggressively first action. Um, and I have to hope that Baritone and Shelly both don't take pigs. Seems unlikely. Obviously not the timing we wanted, but that happens. Possibly getting another opportunity to dung collect um, already, but I think I will pass on it unless I... No, I'm passing on it this round. Yeah, if you can tell me what Shelly clearly needs with 100% accuracy, <laughs> good for you. I think I'm exactly fed with the well food and the pavier food. 
needing eight. Um, getting more food is always fine. My resources suggest I could later this game upscale and then build a clay room. Getting four stables for Baritone? Yeah, I'm definitely not getting these pigs. This stable arrangement is good flexibility for winning Ranch Provost with late fences. Late fences are not going to be blockable because two of us have already fenced 15. Pitchfork. Uh, fighting for pigs in stage five can be done. And it will be done. Bog uh, saying good move in chat, and it would have been better if Baritone or Shelly started, or Shelly started and then didn't take pigs, most accurately. Stage 5 breeding everything does guarantee you uh, maximum animal reeve if you do not eat anything, yes. Uh, let other early fence? You can't really, uh... You can't really guarantee any strategy based on opponents. Like, letting people early fence is... Uh, dangerous. Because what you actually have to do is let people get a ton of early wood. And no telling if they're gonna fence with it or do something that might be even better. Or do something a lot worse. Yes, who knows? <laughs> who knows is the real answer. Pottery, stone oven, one of them. Shelly is moving towards really rough feeding times in stage five and six. I guess stage five is close to sorted, but stage six looks very difficult. Um... I'll pass again. I mean, I think this is going cow pigs. Whether I play dung or not. And if I don't play dung, then I can be fed already without needing another food action. And if I play dung early and I need to do a food action, then I'm not really saving an action. But if I do it later when the timing of my food is more precise for my needs than I might actually be saving in action. <laughs> A 
again, it's not exactly blockable. The dung ability, given that I have a sheep and a cow coming in in 13, but um, it does affect my opponent's perceptions of how many fields I need. And I do like keeping that kind of thing hidden. Bog is now guaranteed four more points from Animal Reeve. Is currently showing the Provost points. 31 at the end of round 11 is pretty good. Um, but there is an action disadvantage there, um, which Bog can make up by aggressively starting for the round 5 actions, or stage 5 actions. Yep, they're kind of out of things to do, and uh, if they don't have a good source of crops, then their points are kind of capped, if that's the case. Field for Shelly. I will probably have to take the pigs one at a time, um, but I do have some action advantage there. Six food looks reasonable. I don't really know what else I'm doing on this board. Uh, my long-term feeding is hilariously still not figured out. Two sheep is pretty reasonable as three sheep, but anyone who could take sheep besides Shelly already can breed them, so I'll take the food first. Uh, start player, um, now with shifting cultivation, I think makes some sense. Bog takes sheep for food. So six food was an accurate move, I will claim. Alright, Shelly's gonna start. Shelly has taken a few start players this game. Grain bag explains the both ovens. Okay, the sheep are gone. Reedstone gives me enough for a room and two renos. Um, alternatively, I could take clay, run a fireplace. And then take more clay. Instead of some weird wood upscale not have a fireplace plan. <laughs> Let's go with that. Bit of an interesting reedstone for Bog there. Bog is fed, so feeding Charky is uh, not as big of a problem as it would be otherwise.
Wood Expert, coming out late here for Baritone. Baritone is fed off of that raised bed. And of course a green move for Shelly. Three green, three food. Um, I don't really know what my last action is, so I don't really know why I'm renovating now. It does secure the cheaper fireplace. Might just be two stone. Yeah, I guess it's just two stone. That's fine. Sharky has its upside down, ups and downs. This is definitely one of the better ones. Veg is fine, but I'm getting a veg in round 14 from Pavier. Now, it could be a two point veg still if I get a sow in round 14. Uh, we're looking to take one pig with, like, the third or fourth action this round. Uh, plowing first action most likely, but start shifting cultivation is also viable. Passing shifting cultivation, not great, but... Not as bad when person behind you has an ox goad. I'd still like to wait until bog is plowed out. Urgent flips for Shelly. I don't really care. Bog seems likely to get a fourth wood off of one more Charky this game. No way we're taking Reed Bank here. Chat, you're gonna have a field day with this one. Nice food basket for Bog. Y'all gonna audit my bank statements. Building was more important than pig, so clearly it's more important than grow without consistency. I need to find more food here. I'm like 10 foods short. So what am I doing? Animal aggression is already tough. Big brain, let me grow just to watch me starve. So true. Um, if I was in baritone situation, well, if they had 15 wood. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Sleeping corner. Red rushed Reno when no one could do it. Uh, supposedly to sow second action. Can't really think of another answer. Um, joinery could definitely be part of my plans here. With plow gone. Three stones still out there that I should probably take first. So pig and wood are what I'm hoping to get. Okay, bog taking cow, I assume eating a pig and plowing. They also have two cows extra, so now they have a pig and a cow extra, and two sheep extra. Um, Alright, now shifting cultivation is the easiest play of all time. Baritone gets four wood back. We'll see if they take it now. This is not Oriental Fireplace. This is Earth Oven. Which is the same as a hearth except for cows and baking. Shelly, um, I guess the build action is free with Swagman and Grain Bag Pitchfork wanting to take grain anyway. But pottery is kind of still out there. Alright, if I get relegated to two wood because of this, that's fine. Yeah, Bog is, uh, hiding four points of animals. Bog's already at 44. Uh, Sleeping Corner coming out here, easing, and this grow normal in round 12. Both easing the pressure on Bog's... Well, I mean, Bog is gonna get to five people. So Bog has 50. Just feed and you have 50. Um, my game's fine. I don't know if I'm hitting 50. My food is gonna make it tough to hit 50. We got some moonshine. Shelly just could not care less about wood. Has a baker this whole time? So Zach, I forgot, but that's backseating. frustrates you just remember it's a hard game and we all were bad at some point i 
I'm not deleting anything, but when I time someone out or ban them, all their messages disappear. Baritone with the clear cultivation move here. This dung collector is going to make sure I have a stone going into round 14, which is really cool. Um, it means I can run out joinery if I get one more stone, which it does look like I will be able to do. Um, I think I'm the only hungry one, which I'm going to try to take advantage of here. This plow is maybe a little more aggressive than I need to do. When I could just start player, what am I doing? Putting Bog in second is not good, but there are much worse outcomes. Bog can more or less win the game by starting, I think. I'm glad I didn't take a Reedstone food. I have two Dung Plows and cultivation in round 14, hopefully. All right, we fade, Shelly taking a pig. That's big. Okay, uh, I need a lot of food still. My last three moves are probably all food, if you count Reno Joinery. Reno, the joinery itself is just paying for um, the dung and the stone. Bog slowly acquiring Reno resources, which makes sense. The dream, which is not happening, is that Shelly, or that Bog doesn't um, build stables first move, and Shelly does. It's never happening. The other uh, thing that could go very wrong here is if Baritone plays for second by killing my food. You don't know if you agree with taking three moves for a three-point reno. I don't think Bog likes doing three moves for a three-point reno, but I also don't think Bog has anything better. Do you think Bog has anything better? <laughs> I'd be surprised. I am not surprised that they're declaring a three move three point sequence is good for them. We're fencing 14 that way.
No, this is ridiculous. No, this fence arrangement never works. Um, you can want a fifth field, but... This is just worse than fencing 13. Um, Bog can just beat you with two stables. So you should guarantee a tie on Provost with 15 fences, or admit that you're not getting it and fence 13, save a wood, get same amount of, or and have more animal capacity by splitting this one up. You should almost always have all your stables in. I guess what I didn't check for is Bog can build joinery here. Thankfully not. Fence 13 still wins Provost for now, and loses to Bog if Bog gets two stables. Which I still project to happen. Alright, thankfully I'll be able to reno last action here. Sixty-four? What sixty-four are you talking about? Baritone has capacities forty and sixteen right now. Uh, okay, um... I am short one food. Of what I really want to do. I don't think I have a better answer than just take two food. That's sad. Well, yeah, there's that whole other angle to it. Definitely going to pass on that. And, uh... I need to find food here. Like, this whole last round. So that sucks. It's funny how I can sometimes see that problem happening for someone else, but not for me. <laughs> Why is joinery better than pottery? Because I have a stone axe and can eat a wood this harvest, but couldn't eat a clay. And I am hungry.
Uh, we owe two food for Dung Collector and Rocky Terrain. We do not need stone anymore. I could go for pottery. Am I just supposed to? I mean, I'm kind of losing to Bog either way, right? I technically have a points, like, a points lead right now. It's not lasting. Bog can grow last. I don't really think I have a winning line against Bog here with my food deficit. Like, without eight clay, this just doesn't work. And if I go for it, Bog can just take eight clay. Yeah, I'm gonna be lame. Bog does have this three stone Reno pottery line that I did see, but they can just build pottery first, take stone later, because I don't have the actions to block the stone. Shelly could maybe try to block the stone. Yeah, Shelly opened up the queue significantly by building a room and letting me grow. Um, alright, so any wood move works for me this way. I can spend a stone. No one's taking cops. Um, tree food. Yeah, I think I'm just taking animal, three food, or cow, three food, grain, veg, or pig and wood. I think that's just my game, and I don't think it beats Bog. Um, instead of the one point move, I could take the eight clay. What does that get me? Fireplace instead of pottery, very smooth. Uh, Shelly for the block. Baritone with the blocking Shelly. Oh, forcing the stables for Shelly. Plow is already occupied. You can grain seeds here. Um, alright, well, this, if this is grain into stable, then I might be on 8 clay. No, we have a fence out. Okay. All right, so Bog's at 53. I don't think Bog risks, or Bog's just building stables than growing. Bog's not taking a clay. Well, I guess eight clay's better than grow. Shelly, 
Shelly didn't see baritone fencing, according to game chat. Cool. Let's see, am I underestimating my own points here? <laughs> no, Bog's getting 56. Uh, I totally forgot, Ronnie. <laughs> I was supposed to stable? Alright. I probably was. I had already mentally allocated all my wood to joinery, which obviously is not correct. Um, but I did need these food moves, so... Shelly will now be fed, gets four stables. Um, mm -mm -mm. Yep, probably Dictator. Another thing I missed. It does look like it was probably close enough of a game to where uh, the block could have won it. Um, well, I guess Lynchet is two food, and I think I needed three food, three food on cattle market fishing. Two stables was five points for Bog. And they committed to Fireplace. Do I still have this? Maybe. <laughs> if it's not clearly apparent, I cannot be bothered to do the math right now. That should be very apparent. Oh, and I forgot I was buying a field. <laughs> uh, I forgot I was buying a field. So I'm one food short this way. So I eat a veg. I breed three points. I have four more points coming. I get 57 still. We were fine the whole time. The most calculated endgame you've ever seen. 
Thanks, Rainier. Well, we'll see. I still could forget more things. No telling how accurate this part of the math is. <laughs> um, Shelly seems upset in chat about the fence block, so I'm trying to explain that fencing for 12-ish points doesn't get a win. Manger for another three. And then lack of stables. Oh, a house master. I think Shelly's low fifties, maybe, without the fence block. Which is definitely a lot more than 38, so it feels bad for sure. But I think Shelly's in third, regardless of the fence block. I don't need to eat this grain, but I'm going to anyway. It was a fun night school. Three stone from Rocky Terrain. Definitely the best Rocky Terrain I've ever had. Luza, thanks so much for the raid, friends. Welcome. Uh... Shout out to you. Thank you so much. What were you playing today? Welcome Raiders. Azul, nice choice. Very nice choice. Econ Sean, you still here? You see, some people are happy to stream Azul. Training for Vegas? Nice. Yeah, hope to meet you this year. I will be going there as well. Lost both games. There is still time. There is still time. Oh, I can buy a stone? Yes, I will, actually. Uh, we are just wrapping up this Agricola game. Um, so I will be having to send us all off to a new place. But I very much appreciate the raid. Uh, and yeah, looking forward to, to meeting you, hopefully, this month. All right, squeaked out a win here, despite not noticing the block opportunities at all in the last round. It ended up fine. All right, where are we heading to? Where are we heading to? All right, doesn't look like there's a ton of English speaking options in board game world, but uh, we got some competitive Catan cities and knights going on apparently. Yeah, thanks Ronnie and uh, Sapka and Rainier. One point less for half thinking time? True. That's not bad at all. <laughs> hey, Bog. Thanks. GG. You had a really nice game, too. Um, 
getting to mid fifties on three rooms and early grow, just focusing on your two four wood cards. That was nicely done. All right. Uh, let's read Trissy89, who is doing competitive Cities and Knights over on Colonist, it looks like. Um, so let's say hi to them for uh, watching more competitive games. Thanks so much, everyone, for watching today and uh, for all of the support. Got a ton of it with uh, a couple raids and some subs. Thrall had the resub for 28 months. Rainier raided with 15. Nova resub for 26 months. We got... Oh, I'm scrolling here. I have to scroll. Heroic Logic resub for 30. Paul resub for 20. And Luza with the raid just now. Thanks, everyone. Have a great rest of your day. See you next time. Bye.